This year, we got the largest display ever on an iPhone, which of course means next year you gotta top it. So yeah, this is a very interesting piece. I guess that as some of the most popular videos on my channel are about conceptualizing future iPhones, might as well get a head start because still every single day, tons of people comment about the next generation iPhone. What will it be like? And it doesn't take a genius to know that I think it will be larger. What we saw with this year's 2017 iPhone 10 is kind of a compromise between the plus model iPhone and the standard sized iPhone. Form factor wise, the iPhone 10 is not much larger than the standard size at all. However, it contains a display that is even larger than that of the Plus model and contain the dual camera and of course the best features, the OLED and all of that. But what I'm calling this thing as of now, of course no one really knows the name yet, but I'm liking the name iPhone 10 Plus because it's pretty standard. You know what I mean? When I say 10 Plus, it means an iPhone 10, but larger. It's pretty straightforward. And this 3D mock-up was recommended to me by Venya Geskin, who has provided basically all of the leaks we got for last year's iPhone and a lot of them ended up being pretty true. Months and months and months before the release and we've been DMing each other on Twitter quite a lot about this design and how we feel about it. And if you were curious about this dummy, it's just 3D printed. It's supposedly plastic, but it kind of feels like Kevlar. It has kind of a metal sound to it, like almost like a brick feeling. But it's interesting because it still implements the notch on the front. You can see where that is. And of course the camera hump on the 3D print, they actually make it thinner than that of it is on the 10. And they even got the holes at the bottom with the lightning port. However, not as many speaker holes as the 10. I wonder if that's just a small thing they forgot about. But what I found interesting is they paid close attention to detail on this mock-up. For instance, just because the display would be larger on the iPhone 10 Plus, it doesn't necessarily mean that the notch would have to be bigger as well. So when comparing, the notch on the real iPhone 10 and looking at the dummy model, I discovered that the notches are almost identically the same size, which means that the little cutouts at the top of the 10 plus are actually a bit wider. It means that perhaps we could fit a little bit more widgets and icons at the top. I don't know how big of a fan I am for that, but what it means is you might not have to activate control center like you do on the 10 to access your battery percentage. Instead, because there's more room on the 10 plus, perhaps they could fit the battery percentage up there, or perhaps they'll be able to fit the carrier name up there, which I actually don't want but it's important to remember that if you're just looking at the display just like a display, technically the notch would be smaller because it is interfering with less of the content that you're watching or viewing. And see, like I said earlier, the 10 is just slightly taller and a little bit wider than a standard size iPhone 8 or 7. And I have with me right here, you know, your standard iPhone 6 plus, 7 plus, 8 plus. They kept this form factor for a long time. And I discovered that the width of the 10 plus and the 6 plus are pretty dang close. Of course, the dummy maker might actually get things a little little bit off, I don't know, or perhaps this is perfectly accurate, but when I hold them next to each other right that, we see that the 10 Plus is practically the same form factor of a 6 Plus, with the very little footprint difference of the 10 Plus being slightly taller. So if in fact the 10 Plus is real, and we're getting these leaks very, very early, I understand that, but it's still interesting to conceptualize what we're going to see in the future, this would be easily the largest footprint for an iPhone ever. So we had the 10 with the largest display ever, but a lot of people got pretty used to the 6 Plus 7 plus footprint and they're accustomed to that and I'll admit I got kind of used to it I like having this bigger phone it gives a better grip however there still are advantages to having a regular iPhone 10 footprint it's extremely portable it doesn't take up much space in your pocket while still keeping that bezel -less design so basically 10 plus is bringing that bezel -less design to the footprint of a 6 or 7 plus keep in mind with that six and a half inch OLED display this would be bigger than that of a Galaxy Note 8 except there wouldn't be a pen shoved up in there meaning that battery life could be insane on here. Given that we have a pretty good battery life on our iPhone 10, it's a two cell battery. There's mixed opinions on it, but I've noticed it being about the same battery life as my 7 Plus and 8 Plus were. So imagine the battery size on this guy being bigger than a regular Plus model, perhaps doing that same two cell battery setup on here. Battery life could be insanely good, depending on how much power that over half a foot large display uses. One thing I would actually really love to see brought to the iPhone 10 Plus is landscape mode, which we got on our old Plus models, but because the width of the standard iPhone 10 is definitely not the same as a Plus model, they don't have a landscape option. So it'd be interesting to see how they could program that into a larger display. And of course, when you're making a phone that's approaching like iPad mini status, think of some of the possibilities, like some of the exclusives Apple might make for just the Plus model, especially given that the 10 Plus will still have a dual camera, just the same as the regular iPhone 10. And typically Apple, when there's a larger device, it costs more money. So there needs to be certain exclusives over on that larger device. Having 
had this thing for a while and just kind of tapping around it and getting a feel for it and you know putting it in my pocket seeing how comfortable it is and how easy it is to reach around on this massive display which will eventually be there I start to toy with the idea that I've been kind of against for a long time but it's like when you're on a display this large is picture in picture or perhaps even split view more doable the reason I'm so against that on most Android phones is every time I use it the displays are so small I'm always thinking why do you need two apps running at the same time but with this it's like so incredibly wide and tall that you might be able to run two apps at the same time in landscape mode and not have the keyboard cover up too much I don't know I definitely would have a better idea of it if I actually had a working iPhone 10 plus but none of us are gonna have that for a long time perhaps not split view would work so much on a smartphone but maybe picture-in-picture picture. I feel like you can't really enjoy something very well on a display this small and when I've used picture-in-picture picture on Android phones I don't like it but if this is true in the next iPhone really is going to have a six and a half inch display this will be the largest display I have ever used on a smartphone and I personally can't think of one that's larger I'm sure there have been smartphones that are larger but I have not used them and I'm curious to see how Apple would handle an operating system blown up to this caliber an interesting leak as well is saying that the pixels per inch on the 10 plus would be even higher of that closer to the 500 ppi stage whereas this is more closer to 450 I don't know why you need more pixels there's a lot of the time I think Apple puts more resolution than they need like the 5k iMac looks great but I mean geez what is optimized for that with a six and a half inch display with 500 pixels per inch can you imagine the resolution like you're approaching like 4k on a phone on here which has been done before I get it but still Apple like calm down and imagining how powerful the a12 chip will be there's already rumors floating around talking about the a11 x chip which we'll be seeing on the next gen iPad Pro it's rumored to have a octa-core processor so imagining the a12 it's possible that you may be able to film videos on here at 4k at 60 while also watching them at 4k at 60 live as you're recording them that might actually be possible with the next gen processor and next gen display so I can definitely say I would understand not everyone wanting this because it is insanely large and this definitely is more of a one-size-fits-all kind of answer but for the people out there who want the largest display possible people like me who have large hands I would definitely gravitate towards this having using it for a while then you guess can DM'd me and personally said that he would like it if it was a 6.3 inch display he thinks this is a little overkill of course leaks and rumors could change and this could be useless but I would personally disagree and say that having a 5.8 inch phone alongside a 6.3 inch phone they're so close in size I mean I think Apple prefers to have a little bit of diversity in their lineup unlike Samsung because they literally do have the 5.8 inch S8 and the S8 plus which is 6.2 and the Note 8 which is 6.3 like everything's like the same size it's weird slight variations where I think Apple would prefer something like this where it's a bit more of a substantial change so someone could upgrade to this and say oh this huge display these exclusives both software and hardware this could be worth it over this whereas a lot of people out there with smaller hands or think this is too bulky could be perfectly content with this and say nah this is fine I'm curious to hear what you guys think of the 10 plus so let me know in the comments below and I'll probably be doing some projects on this like I think I want to try to print out a photograph of an iPhone 10 screen and then kind of like glue it on here so that when we're doing our live streams and people are always commenting about what's the next iPhone gonna be like I'll just hold this up and say here you go it's a bigger version of the 10 case closed this is your Apple sheep here and I will see you in the next one Thank you.